Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is the Sliders Review. And I'm here today to talk to you in the month of December, since it is Christmas time and the holiday time, about Sabrina the Teenage Witch Season 4, Sabrina Nipping at Your Nose. Now, one of the great things about the, like I said before, about the Sabrina holiday episode, they're always different than the other. So they never repeat the same type of like episode formula twice. Now, sadly, in season four, we saw the departure of Libby. I think it's, what's up? I forget her last name. Libby the bully and Valerie the best friend. It's never been explained. I think with Libby, they explained she wanted to go live with a relative or something like that. But I don't know if they explained the whole Valerie thing. It's been a while since I saw season four. And that really bummed me because I love the actresses that play those two roles and stuff. They're so great. Even though Libby was a bully, it was always fun just to see her because she looks great. <laughs> and the actress still looks the same till this day. And fans have always asked and wondered why was she written off? Why was Valerie written off? Why was Jenny written off? A couple of years back, Melissa tried to explain that. And she just said, oh, you know, like, you know, test audience didn't really like this character or like the show wanted to move in a different direction. So some people were written off and this and that, which I believe half of that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not saying nobody had bad blood because they all still talk to each other. I think except for the Jenny person, we don't never see her talk to nobody. And that's for the Valerie character. I don't know if I follow her or not online. But I know her and the one um, that played Libby still talk. Um, I think Libby was on, or the actress who plays Libby, she was on like a podcast where she explains, I think, what happened and stuff. But I don't know where that podcast is. Everything should just be on YouTube. That's my opinion. Screw these other sites. Just stick to YouTube. Because that's what I got. And so it really sucks to see them gone. And with season four, they have Josh in this. And Josh lasted for a couple of seasons. A lot of fans don't like Josh. They say he was boring and stuff. But there's lots of the boring characters. Harvey was kind of boring. And But I never liked Josh because Sabrina had eyes for another man when she was dating Harvey and stuff. And then she started dating him. And what's interesting is Josh is like the second character, no, the third character, the actor who plays Josh is the third character to come from the Clueless TV show. And Sabrina and Clueless used to air back to back. Um, before, later on, Clueless was added to UPN and Sabrina went over to the WB. And when she went to the WB, she went to college. And so, like, also, the intro in season four is completely different than the first one. It's not as upbeat and cheesy as the first. It's more magical looking and cool with bubbles and stuff because Sabrina is getting older and stuff. So, with this episode, they make reference to last season when she was being a grouch. But she says she's not being one this time. And so, basically, the story of this one is, which, which was Zelda, that's it, the smart one. She was listening to the radio, and she won tickets to the Bahamas because she's very smart, and she got the answer right. Well, she decides she's going to take Sabrina, and she's going to, or maybe she's going to give the tickets to Sabrina so she can also give one to Harvey. So, Sabrina is very happy she's going to the Bahamas this winter, um, Christmas and stuff. And so she asks Harvey and tells him, like, don't make plans and this and that. And so she wants to go with him, right? Well, when she's at the little place that she works at, the coffee place, she's talking to Josh and everything. And Mr. Kraft comes in. Mr. Kraft is the principal who dated both the aunts. And he really has a sore spot for Sabrina and always giving her detention. And so he comes in like a grouch and he destroys all of the Christmas decorations. And he didn't even get in trouble for that. He didn't get arrested or nothing. And it's like he hates the holiday. He said he's not going to spend on with his grandma or something like that. So he's just in like a bratty kind of mood. He's acting like a man child. 
Now, I like the actor. I've always hated the character. He was just always so mean to Sabrina. But he, him and Libby was a great duo for like bullying Sabrina. So it always gave that levity of like drama on the show. And so like because of this, she's like just like irritated with him. But she's happy she's going to the Bahamas. But that's a problem. It's about the snow. Well, it's about the snow in and everything, and it's about to be a white Christmas. So she decides she's going to use her magic and change all that with the um. Because Salem, ah, uh, Salem gave her that advice. So what she does, she uses her magic. She stops the snow, and then all of a sudden she turns into a snow woman. <laughs> And the reason why is because she tampered with Mother Nature. So she starts to melt and everything. The aunts don't notice at first until they find out. Now the aunts are rocking a new hairstyle this season. They have cut their long hair. And Zelda's back to like her short, really, really short dude from season one, which I never liked that short dude. I like her better with long hair. And Hilda is like a cross between season one and season two where it's a little short but the shoulder length and everything and more curly and i've always missed their i always like their long hair and so like they go to the other realm and they talk to mother nature and she's all like you know she restores sabrina but sabrina will remain in her human form if she can like you know bring holiday cheer and bring a smile to the face and make um mr craft happy sabrina does not want to do that because she hates this man and he's in a grouchy mood and so when she like you know um has to like make him happy well with the aunts their storyline is they need helpers for like their shop that they own because now they own like a shop to give them something new to do and so they hire some of santa elves these really 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 um shady elves who steal money from them and then later steals like a clock and, <laughs> and stuff and so back with sabrina she is doing everything she can to make like William Craft like happy, but it's not working. So she decides to go in his past and see what's going on. And the way they filmed his past was brilliant. It's in black and white. There's tons of grain on the camera. It looks like an old school Christmas movie or an old school black and white show or movie. And I really liked how they did that. Basically, he's never had a good Christmas, and he tells her that when he's older. And it's really sad when he says it, because this is a hateful, mean man, but he's actually sad and everything. So she does something with her magic to make him a little bit happier. No, no, she doesn't. She gives him the tickets to, like, the Bahamas and everything so that he can go with Zelda. And but Zelda don't know this yet. And so it works. She gets to stay human and all this other stuff. And so I think Hilda was supposed to go on that trip too. So when they find out that William Craft is going to the Bahamas with them, they're not too happy. And so like, but of course he is because he dated both of them. And so Harvey comes over later at night and she gives him his gift and he still doesn't know about magic yet and so she decided hey if the oh somebody decided if the they can't go to the box oh what is it oh it snowed in so mr craft can't go but he's still there and so they decided hey let's just bring the bahamas here so they have like tons of like you know bahama looking stuff and tropical stuff and they're just partying dancing the music Oh, I forgot to mention, Danny Badaducci shows up in the beginning and end of the episode because he's the special guest, like, appearance. They do that all the time in Sabrina. And so, like, what is it? Next thing you know, they can't find Hilda. She's outside and she's the snow woman. Why? Because she made the snow stop because she did not want to be stuck there in the house snowed in with William Craft, and she was willing to take any kind of punishment that she could. 
And so, even though it's not as cool as like the past, like Halloween, not Halloween, but Christmas episode, it was still an enjoyable episode nevertheless. Bah humbug, that was a good episode. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you later. Bye.